Let's start at the beginning. The Big Bang. Okay, here, what, what do you think of this? An atom, right, is mostly nothing. One analogy is it's like a fist in the Albert Hall. So an atom, the size of the Albert Hall, the matter part of it, okay, the nucleus would be a fist. The rest is space, okay? That's one thing. With a fly buzzing around it as the electron, just a, a, yeah, that's a charge. Now, when we look at it on that scale, it's easy to understand that all matter that exists, everything in this universe was once in the space many, many times smaller than an atom. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, no one, most people watching this are going, I don't get that, my head hurts. What else is on? Everything in the universe could be crammed into the, the tiniest thing imaginable. And that was sitting there in the beginning of time, right? 15 billion years ago, right? And then it expanded into a universe in a few minutes. But was the minutes then? No. So we don't know then. We don't know how long it took. Not that it matters, I'm not bothered. It's here now. And that's what I'm saying to you. It's all amazing that, the Big Bang thing. I've said to you, was it a Big Bang? Or was it just because there was nothing else there to drown out the noise? At the end of the day, it's that whole thing, isn't it? The noise. Was there even a noise if no one's there to hear it? Don't be worrying about all that stuff. Leave it to Stephen Hawking to do it. Of course he can sit there and think about it. He's got nothing else to do. Let him get online. Oh, th it's great to think. I like thinking, but my world's too busy. I've always got to be doing other things. He sat there just thinking. I'd be the same if I was in his shoes. Exactly the same. Thinking. But he's, he's, he's done that much thinking. He's thinking about things now he doesn't need to think about. Pack it in, Steve. Have a rest. <laughs> Play Pac-Man. Do, do whatever, just do something else. Stop worrying about the Big Bang. <coughs> He's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter. We don't need to know the answer. He's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter. Good. Right. It doesn't matter, does it? In your life of things that matter, where would you put the Big Bang? No, but then... But then no, where do you draw the line? We're not here for long enough. Well, we're not here for long enough. But then enough. nothing matters then, does it? So yeah, we... it does, yeah. What, what does? Matter. What matters? Well, keeping people happy. Okay. You know, uh, looking after people. So, so keeping them happy could be giving them life-saving drugs or feeding a, um, a starving world or letting someone become mobile that was otherwise yeah. immobile. And that's, that's fine. But you're talking about space. When did it start? Where does it end? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You know, it goes on and on and on and on. We know that. Atoms, they're not getting in the way. Stop worrying about them. I read something about some scientists trying to smash one up. What for? <laughs> they're not in the way. If they were big and I kept bumping into them, I'd smash them up. Break them down. Gravel. Make gravel out of them. <laughs> Make atoms. Make atoms so tiny that they're only gravel. No, but what, what I'm saying is, it's not an issue. And right. there's loads of problems in the world. There is loads of problems. You may mention them all, the starvation, all that. And someone's faffing about with an atom. Mm. That isn't going to sort anything out.